All right, we've taken a look at the block chord voicing that many people use, and we're going to now take a look at a variation of that, which is called drop two chords. Again, we're going to stay with the D minor seven chord and uh, experiment with the drop two chord voicings. Okay, we've just taken a look at block chord voicing, which would give us this sound, basically the D, the D minor seven chord with the seven in the bass or the highest note doubled in the bass. Now we want to take a look at what we call drop two chords and basically whatever the second note from the top is, we're going to not play it here, here, we're going to drop it down to the bass and not double the top note. So we're doubling the next to the top note and you can see on the keyboard that just gives us a little more open voice. Listen to that sound compared to this sound. Or a little more open. Again, if we move up, there's our nine chord. Here's our blocked voice option. Now if we use the drop two, we're going to move the C down. And again, that just gives you a more open sound. Okay. And if we move to the 11th, here's our block chord option. Move the E down. More open. And finally, the, ele the 13th sound. So again, that gives, that gives you some variety in the options you have as you're playing chords. And you really have to let the music dictate how you want to play those chords and how thick or thin they need to be or how full they need to be. Um, so take a look at that once more. Here's the D. There's the block chord option. So if we drop the second highest note down to the bass, and that gives us just a more open sound. Again, experiment with that in the um, other keys and in pieces you're working on and see if you can find ways to incorporate drop two chords.